you want to start us off? Yeah. Uh, turnovers today were a big problem. You know, what kind of stopped you guys from getting better control of the ball and how did the turnovers really hurt you then? Um, yeah, turnovers never cost me in today's game. And overall, I felt like we were rushing at times, too sped up. I know the energy and excitement was there from the jump, so especially for me, I know I was I was ready to go. I was I was hot, but yeah, I felt like we just had to slow down, and those turnovers turned to points and just giving them too too many opportunities to sc uh, score on offense. Kind of going off that, um, I guess what kind of uh, freedom? Where, where's the balance between the freedom you have, you know, within the offense versus yeah, you know, make, taking those singles and Jerome likes to say making those. Singles. Yeah, I think, yeah, um, I think the freedom is what comes naturally through, like, the offense. And uh, it's kind of just, like, making the read that's there. And, you know, they did a good job of getting their hands up and, you know, even deflecting the ball, leading to a turnover. So I think we just have to read that. Um, and, you know, sometimes in these big-time games, it's good to be poised, you know, and calm down just a little bit and have a good sense of and balance of both hyped up and calm at the same time so you can see things clearly, but be ready to, you know, go with it. So, yeah. The game was tied with seven minutes left, and <clears throat> they scored 10 points, and you guys didn't score any. What went wrong over those final seven minutes? Um, lack of getting some stops, some timely stops. Um, I know it's simple and cliche, but if we get stops and they don't score, um, they don't get a run. So um, I think it's that. And then offensively, um, some of it was turnover. Some of it was missed shots. Some of it was miscommunication. Um, just got to combine all of those and um, alleviate mistakes as much as possible, especially in crunch time, because um, that's what that time period separated the game for. When you guys see so many Michigan State fans that travel to this game, and I'm sure you guys heard them as well, how does that make you guys feel on the court, knowing that this is your home barn? Yeah, it makes you feel terrible, especially after the game. We all cheering, and I was cheering our fans, but in the, the day, we got a game to play, we got a job to do, so we can't really mess mess around and worry about the crowd. Like we're on the floor, we're football locked down, we're focused, but it's all good. And then the day it's done. Yesterday, Juwan stressed the importance of transition defense. Obviously, gave up a lot of turnovers. How did you assess, you know, how you responded to those on the defense end? It's hard to get back efficiently, and you know, just getting back period when we turn the ball over. Um, you know, they may have two people ahead of us, and it's a all-out sprint. So, um, a lot of that was the turnovers, and some of the time where it wasn't, we just gotta be hungry and get back, knowing that's what they love to do, and that's kind of what you know, epitomizes their offense. How much were you guys looking forward to this, you know, rivalry game that, you know, obviously you're not, you weren't playing for a Big Ten title tonight, but it's you know, still, you know, a big yeah. in-state matchup, I imagine. And, yeah. Yeah, no, we, we were pumped up as, as any game, but especially this one, we, you know, we don't like to see green. They don't like to see maize or blue, so, um, um, you know, you get up for these games, you love them, you love the, the energy in the arena. I personally love the, their fans being there because it's a feeling of your home, but also your way. So it's like a good, you know, energy um, and you want to do good for your fans and then, you know, prove Michigan State fans wrong. So. There's not a lot of room for moral victories, obviously, but after a couple of lopsided losses, I mean, you guys could have gone down a couple times early, down nine early, fight back, down something like that in the second yeah. half, take a lead. I guess, is there any room to, to think like that or try to keep that sort of mentality that you guys did not roll over tonight? Um, I mean, for me, I just kind of thank the Lord, man. Thank Jesus Christ for just allowing me to play this game at the end of the day. So it's given me the opportunity, just blessed to be able to be in my position, play in front of thousands of people. So it's honestly a blessing, great opportunity, but I'm competitive, you know, we want to win, but not everything is going to go our way, so I can't dwell on the emotions, and I just know it's, it's purpose and the pain, so I keep keep focus. Anything else? What did you miss without Terrence out there, and then what did Jalen give you in the starting lineup? Um, with T. Will, just a steady presence, um, a steady veteran presence. Um, obviously, Jalen is a veteran as well, but, um, you know, him being in the system, 
four years, his IQ, the way he sees the game offensively and defensively. And then with Jalen, um, it was, you know, kind of like a three guard out, kind of like how Michigan State runs it. And we were just, especially in the first half, we were doing a really good job of running. Um, and a lot of that was getting stops, and but also off mates, off their mates, we still ran. So um, I think, you know, it has its pros and cons, but ultimately, you know, we would love everybody. Anything else? You guys still have energy to keep getting off the mat? I mean, it's an opportunity that doesn't come for a lot of people. So it's easy to look at the game and see how we're losing. But in the grand scheme of things, you've got a lot of kids. I want to be my opportunity. I'm blessed that Casey would want to take a picture with me. You want me to sign your thing. So I have a job to go out there and play as hard as I can, win, lose, win or lose. Like, I got kids looking up to me. So that's, that's kind of a big and scary thing that I had to come to realize that it's not only about me, so that's that's a big thing. It's, it's bigger than me. Namari. Yeah, to piggyback off that, um, kind of what T. Reed said, it's a blessing to play this game. Like me personally, the injury I had at Alabama, people didn't think I would be able to play basketball. So that's for me personally. And then the passion of the game, I love. I love watching basketball. I love playing basketball. Any form of basketball, even if, you know, the season hasn't gone our way, but it's still the love for the game that drives a lot of us. And, you know, a love for com competition and, um, you know, doing it together. I feel like this is still a great group of guys, especially off the court. We have a lot of great guys, um, great character guys. And, um, you know, we genuinely still want to finish the season strong. Whatever happens, happens. You never know what can happen. And uh, we're looking forward to that. And um, game by game, we've got to take care of business, learn from the losses and the mistakes, and carry, carry up, uh, it from there. All right, brother, thank you very much.